On a lacal, my garden of roses, let's spend some time talking about Trey Gowdy and his decision to not run for re-election in South Carolina for the House of Representatives. Now, this comes as no real surprise uh, if you know anything about the man's politics. The man much prefers working in the justice system as compared to the legislative system. He's an amazing uh, attorney and lawyer, a brilliant speaker, but he also believes very strongly in term limits. And for his time to come, uh, it's you know amazing that he would just willingly say, you know what, I'm going to step back. I'm very proud of him. Now, a lot of people will, you know, have been, it's been very questionable whether people actually support this man's actions or not. Uh, because people like to say that he's no all talk and no action, but that's essentially what an, a, a lawyer does. And that's what this man trained to be. And that's what he wishes to return to doing. And I can't, I can't look at that in any sort of disrespect or anything of the sort. Uh, he has served very, very honorably, and especially in the last few years, has been an amazing voice, not for the Republican Party, but for the American people in the House of Representatives serving on the uh, Judiciary Committee. Now, he did post a um, something he wrote uh, regarding his choosing not to run for re-election on Twitter. And I'll read a portion of it for you here. Words cannot adequately express my gratitude to the people of South Carolina for the privilege of representing them in the House of Representatives. The upstate of South Carolina has an incredible depth and breadth of assets, including numerous women and men capable of representing us. I will always be grateful for the opportunity to serve in the People's House and, prior to Congress, to advocate on behalf of justice in our court systems. I will not be filing for re-election to Congress, nor seeking any other political or elected office. Instead, I will be returning to the justice system. Whatever, the, whatever skills I may have are better utilized in a courtroom than in Congress, and I enjoy our justice system more than our political system. As I look back on my career, it is the jobs that both seek and reward fairness that are the most rewarding. And that's a statement I can agree with very wholeheartedly. If there's any reason that I decided to start making videos on a regular basis and have struggled despite the odds to keep on going, because I realize I'm not a very big YouTuber, I'm not a very big entertainer. It's the, the feeling of finding fairness and speaking on, you know, speaking fairly about subjects as compared to listening to the sensationalized stories that me the media produces. And I'm certain that Trey Gowdy is seeing the same things. Now, this isn't to say that Trey Gowdy is going to find himself completely innocent. Nobody in Congress is innocent. And that's a very important to remember as we, we talk about this subject and as we see more and more Republicans retiring. However, by stepping aside willingly before any sort of controversy comes his way, whether it be related to the FISA memo, his position on the Judiciary Committee, and his position in assisting with uh, the House intelligence operations, I I'm actually, I I'm very proud of the man. He's done an amazing job serving South Carolina and the American people, and I hope only the best for him. Now, a lot of people are saying that they suspect he will be nominated for attorney general in the Trump administration, but I highly doubt he would take that position, given that he's already stated he doesn't want to be part of the political system. And the attorney general is far more of an, an appointed political job than an appointed judicial job. I suspect he wants to go back now that he's, you know, made his time serving the country go back to actually working in the private sector, although he doesn't actually incline whether or not he intends to work in the private sector in his note. And that's something I would love to hear more about from Mr. Gowdy, because this is a man, I, I, I haven't had many people in Congress or in politics in general that I've ever respected, 
but listening to Trey Gowdy speak, I, I respect him certainly more than most. And while, you know, you, you have to take Washington with an absolute grain of salt because it's just as much of a show as it is the center of our politics, I would be remiss to say that I have not considered whether or not I should go into politics because of how Trey Gowdy handled himself. Now, I am not the attorney or any sort of attorney, uh, uh, lawyer for that matter, on par with Trey Gowdy. And my ability to speak, as you can tell, is stuttery and filled with ums and pauses and having to look away to think. But I'm always going to remember Trey Gowdy as an amazing representative in our country. And I certainly hope others do as well. People are going to bring up subjects undoubtedly about why he was a terrible senator in the comments and in the coming days as this spreads through the news. And I just want to make sure people realize that no one's perfect. Everyone has their faults and their failings. Trey Gowdy, for all his ability to speak as a powerful lawyer and argue in the most difficult environments, has not accomplished nearly as much as I think people who elected him and people who have looked up to him might have expected. And that in part might be because people look at their senators and their representatives as being more powerful than they actually are, considering that, you know, they are one of 435 or one of 100 votes within the Houses of Congress. But at the end of the day, Trey Gowdy has held people to account on both sides of the aisle. He was never a fan of Donald Trump, and he has done his best to fight against Donald Trump wherever necessary, while at the same time fighting against Hillary Clinton, fighting against uh, Attorney General Rod Rosenstein, fighting against James Comey. And these are things that he's going to go down in history if just as a, a bookmark, these are the reasons that he is going to be a powerful piece, a powerful if small piece of history. The man impresses me and very few people do. And for that, I just want to wish Trey Gowdy the absolute best in his last year in office and with whatever he does in the future. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.